Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you how to uh, replace this light into a recess light like this one. Okay, I'm gonna replace that one. And this is the tools that we're gonna use. Drill. And this is an impact drill. We got the bits and the white cutter and okay the recess light i bought it from amazon so there's a bulb in the box it's a 3000 k so it replaces a 70 watts light into a 9 watts so you save 90% of electricity. Okay. But for this one, I use a... I think this one is a 6,000... 6,000 K light. Yeah. And the lights are dimmable. I'm going to turn that one into something like this. Okay, first, I'm going to turn off the breaker. So that one is open. I'm going to go to the breaker. See if it turns off. Okay, now we're, uh, we're at the breaker. So that light is connected to... The bathroom, which is number six, right there. So I'll turn number six off. And we'll see. Okay, yeah. So it did turn off. As you can see. But to double check, you're gonna use this thing a voltage detector just to make sure that it's off. Okay, and I'll use some gloves as well, and insulated gloves. Okay, now so I'm wearing gloves, and you sh should wear this eyeglass as well to protect your eyes. From the dirt. Okay. Can I take that thing off first? You just need to loosen the Screw on the center. Okay. I'll show it to you a little bit closer. So I loosen this one. voltage detector it really doesn't have any thing on it and electricity okay nothing because if it has it will beep fast but it shows nothing okay so we're good Okay, so we're gonna remove the wire. Oh, I'm not a licensed electrician, and uh, if you're not comfortable doing this one, you should call an electrician. And always be safe, okay? So, this thing, I'm just gonna remove this. Okay, and the 
black one, same thing, loosen it up, move it, and then you gotta remove the green screw that's holding it using a flat head screw. We have a screwdriver also works but this one has a light to see it clearly now it's off it's time to take out the receptacle so first we're gonna remove this two screws in here to take this off so now it's off. I'm gonna move this out of the way. So this is the ground. This is the hot wire. So we can remove the screws that holding this one. We're gonna remove this one. Okay, this thing. Can I remove that screws? Gonna look for the right bit or the right driver to remove it. Okay, so I found the right drill for it. It's a square one, so I'm gonna remove this one. why you need to have your safety glasses on because as you can see there's lots of oh, there's an insulation inside and so, okay, so, some parts of the thing okay now so we're gonna remove this one Now that I have removed the white wire, white wire, I'm gonna remove the black one. This is the main one by loosening this screw here. Okay. Okay, now that we have removed it, so I have to hear the template to see if a four inch recess light will fit in here. If not, you're gonna cut the size of this template. But we're gonna try it first. So here is the four inch recess light. Now we're gonna try it. Put this one, this one, you have to put this one inside and then it will clip, lock by itself. Okay, I 
think we need to cut a bigger hole in here. So, to cut that hole, I'm gonna use this one. It's an adjustable circle cutter that I bought from Canadian Tire. Okay, I'll use this one to cut the hole, make it a little bigger according to this template here. Looks like it's enough, but okay, let's try that again. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, yeah. Looks like the hole is enough. I'm gonna have to drill it. There are gaps in here, but we're gonna use uh, something to cover it. But now we're gonna wire it. Let's pull out our wires. Okay, so we're gonna use this thing. This is gonna connect to the wire. It has green, the black, and the white. Okay, After, I just turned off the breaker, we'll see if it's one the hot wire, see, the black one is the hot wire, the white is the common wire, and this is the ground, so this is a black one that gives power to your light okay I'm gonna turn it off again and show you the wiring how to wire this one is for the switch so we'll connect it to the common wire and the black one goes in and then I'll show it to you later so this thing has this hole on the side You can open it. You can put your wires inside. Here, here. So I have put this a uh, red wire to both of this black wire. So now I have a single wire here, okay, and this white one, since this just is for the switch, I'll connect the black one here, this one, and then the white one will go, will go to white in here okay so now that I've connected the black wire yeah that's this red thing to make it just a single wire so I can connect it here the 
So as you can see, it's a glue, just one wire. Although it has four holes, that purpose is if you want to if you want to have another pot lights to the other side. Oh, you can connect. Then you can connect the black here, and then the white, and the ground in here, so forth and so on. And then the white wire connected to this one. This is the switch. So it will go to the switch, then goes back here, and then it will give power. So now these two will have the power. The red and the white and since this was this connected to this one the switch will cut the, the power and that's when you have access so now we have access to the switch it will turn it on and off because if you only have this two you can connect it directly here but it will you, you can't control it on and off so you have this so you have to go to the switch which is the white wire this one goes to the switch okay so now I'll show you how to put it this one so this one is very easy so just the hole you just insert it just insert it to the wall or to the hole sorry I don't I can't do it with one hand so I'll put down the phone so now I have it inserted to the hole so the black goes to the black and then the white one goes to the switch goes back here the white and to the white and now this one this is for the ground, goes to the green, right there. So for this one, you can insert the pot lights. So here is the pot light, see that? See it has a thing on the top. And the other one has one too. Right there. Okay. So now we're gonna test it. We're gonna turn on the baker. See if it will work. Okay. Now we're gonna turn on the breaker. So yet gonna turn on the switch there Let's see now that it's working what we're gonna do now is put all these wires inside this box so it's, this one is a uh, for the like if you get a short, short, uh, it'll not. Uh, it's for safety. It's fire safety. So now I'm gonna turn off the breaker and then put everything here inside. So I turn off the breaker, turn it on, so nothing happens. So breaker is off. Now I can those wires inside the box okay now that I've put everything inside the box I removed this red wire since it has those four holes so I used those three to put everything the black one and I just remove this one and I have this side okay, I'm gonna put the pot lights and put it up so I put the back inside close it put it inside and clip this one don't forget to close it with this okay now I'm gonna put it 
there. So the breaker is on. I'm gonna turn it on to see. Ta -da! There you have it. That's my mess. And next time I will show you how to change the switch into like a dimmable one so you can dim it. And I'll also put two more pot lights here and here. You can have three, 3000 K and living will be 6000. Okay. Okay, guys, for watching. Okay, always remember be safe. Thanks. Bye.